we're at this home today doing a drum road clean out and uh the residents here said that they had two different come to come out and spray their home for drum roaches but they still have them six months later and they got recommended by us from uh, one of our commercial clients that we take care of and this is one one of the reasons why you have to inspect everything before you treat or while you treat you make sure you spray everything so they had this furnitures they bought them from a friend right there was a red flag and i'll show you why it's a red flag So right here is their couches. I flipped both of them over. I inspected them. Most people might say, Derek, don't you do that for bed bugs? <laughs> you do them for more than just bed bugs, any type of infestation pest. And this is why. So those, my friends, are is what everybody hates. That's a German roach. And they're just hanging out in this foot of the couch. And this is why you inspect everything. You can see all the eggs in here. You can see all the droppings and fecal matter that they're just hanging out in. So sometimes you want to just check out every hole in here and make sure not hiding in those holes. But I'm telling you, they're definitely in here hiding in these couches and this is why they still have them. So when you check the couches and they don't spray those couches or the furniture ever, as well as underneath this table, this table probably has them as well. And then we're gonna attack the kitchen right now but they said that they don't see the kitchen, they don't see activity in the kitchen for about a couple months, but after a while, they'll come right back three months later and even worse. So again, get you a company that can guarantee removal of German roaches, because we inspect everything, we spray everything that needs to be sprayed. We just don't do baseboards only. Dust these outlets, because they're hiding in the wall voids. And that's where they're gonna hide and make more babies, and grow the colony a little bigger. It's in, the, in these wall voids, and that's how they travel through room sometimes too. So I always want to make sure you dust all of them. I already sprayed, but we sprayed behind the stove, the fridge, and dishwasher, and underneath sink. So it's always a process. So process of elimination for these dang on German roaches. So now that after we dusted, now it's time to bait, and this is how we bait. We got a little bait gun here. Pull this guy out. Next for us, what we're going to do is we're going to apply this bait in those areas that we saw roaches come out of. And they actually came out of here. And you can see the little plate here. Just the fecal matter they leave here. So it looks like body pieces too, where they molted. So the fact that we see roaches in these areas and they're running out, I wiped up all the dust. But we're going to apply a little bit of bait here to remove that. And we're going to play underneath the sink here. There's a lot of stuff in here. I wasn't able to spray in this one. But we'll play bait here. And bits and parts of this kitchen, bathrooms, and I might probably do it near those couches as well to apply some bait. And underneath here, because I found some hiding under here, but let me show you how we bait. So I'm gonna go here and apply some bait, like so, just a little bit, not too much. We're gonna apply those areas and then one down here. See, I'm just doing a tiny bit. You don't need too much. The cool thing is it matches in with this. And see, just a little bit, not too much. And it really helps. Look at that, you can see the activity in there. They're going inside the outlets. Right inside there. Look at that. Look at that little buddy coming out. Where are you at? See, there's a little guy hanging out with us, but this product is gonna take care of him and he won't be hanging out too much any longer. All right, we played those baits. The little droplets here. See, not too big, not too small. Just the right amount for them, uh, pouched. But now we're gonna add monitoring boards. So we'll place these down and what they help us do is monitor how much activity and what areas the cockroaches are coming from. Are they coming from the, uh, mostly from the refrigerator, the stove? It really lets us know what part of the home they're actually coming from. I'm gonna show you. So once we have this set up, we're gonna put it down here and just leave it hanging out. We're gonna apply another one right here just to see how much activity. We're gonna put another glue board. So I got one for right here, yeah. put one underneath the sink. We'll put one here in between 
the refrigerator right there. And then one as well, if you can fit one in here, put one right underneath, or not underneath, but next to the stove right there. And one next to this stove and possibly one up here. So when we set those up, it just kind of tells us how the kitchen is looking. So next week we come by to do an inspection or spray again. We do up to four sprays in one month to guarantee um, elimination of these German roaches. But this bro these glue, uh, glue boards will help us know if are they coming from this side of the house, this side of the house, or they're really bad in the middle and they're just scattering throughout the glue boards all. But all right, that's what glue boards are for and we'll set those up. We'll ask them how the activity's been and just do a checkup, spray it again, make sure. But I definitely gotta do one of these videos in Espanol, so todos pueden mirar como fumigamos para las cucarachas. Pero we got it this time, and we'll see you next time. Choose a company that's gonna guarantee these problems fixed. I got my head out the sunroof.